Hi and welcome. My name's Karen and I am an independent saint artist with Saint Beauty and I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial showing you how you can camouflage, contour, and brighten with cream makeup. So let's get started. I'm glad you're here and uh, come on in. Let's do this. So the first thing I want to talk about is this makeup. It's all cream and it is, uh, comes in little tins that you get color matched to, and then you can put them into a compact like this, and then you just replace what you use um, when you need to. So hi, hi Sandra. All right, what we're gonna do first is talk about the camouflage part of this. So cream makeup is really amazing for us women um, with more mature skin and who have a lot more discoloration, sunspots, age spots, things like that. So I like to um, color match all of my clients to three highlight or foundation shades. And the first one I usually color match you to is going to be what I call my camouflage or your uh, color corrector shade. This one here is mine. It's called Mango. Yours may be the same that I color match you to or you may be given a different one. So what we're going to do first is look at our face and in areas where we need a little extra camouflaging, okay, concealing. <laughs> We're going to add this and we're going to tap on just in the areas that we need it the smallest amount because this makeup is so pigmented you don't need a lot of this makeup to get the results that you want and in in the same sense when you use the least amount possible you're going to get a wonderful wonderful finish so the other place i like to apply it is on my eyelids and i do that because i have a lot of discoloration and they're just they have a lot of melasma and freckling and sun damage, and they just don't quite match the skin around it. So I'm going to put a little bit of my camouflage shade up there as well. Tapping back in just the smallest amount right here on the inner part of my under eye. It's a little kind of darker. A lot of us have melasma pool, pooling underneath our eyes, causing us to, it looks like we almost have you know, these deeper indentations, eye bags, darkness, brownness. Um, so adding just a little bit of this camouflage color corrector shade under my eyes helps as well. So the other place, um, you know, depending on the day or what's going on, if I'm really red or have rosacea around my nose, I'll put a little bit of that shade here. So that's what we're doing first is the camouflage color correcting portion of the um, cream 3D foundation. Finally, I'm going to add some color corrector camouflage down on my chin. And um, this area here is really discolored. It's got a lot of broken capillaries. It looks really purplish. Sometimes it looks really red. So adding a bit of this camouflage shade just right down here on the chin and then lightly blending it out to the surrounding area really helps neutralize that and will help uh, color correct that area. So that's really it. Um, Camouflaging with your, one of your highlight shades is gonna give you a little extra coverage and concealing. So now let's go on to the contour portion of this. Contouring frames your face, defines bone structure, and adds really adds a shadow. Contour, especially um, our cream contours, are really easy to use. They're easy to blend. So I'm gonna tap into my contour shade and come up here and add it along the top of my forehead. Now. If you wear bangs or have a shorter forehead, you don't necessarily need to add contour to frame the top of your forehead. But if you pull your hair back and you have a forehead that is quite taller, then, then adding some contour up here will add a shadow and help frame this part of your face so that now the center of your face is brighter because this is the part of our face that we want to pull forward. And up here, we're pushing back up into our hairline and adding just a little bit of a shadow. So that's all I did. I'm just gonna feather down what's on the brush. That's it. Adding just a little bit of a shadow, a little bit of framing. The next place you can contour is underneath your cheekbones. Now, if you have really uh, much thinner face and real already feel like your cheekbones are quite defined, then you don't need to do this. Um, but I have more of a fuller face and I want to uh, define my cheekbones and kind of give my face a little bit of definition. So I'm going to take and just tap into this brush. It's called the detail brush. Now, since I already camouflaged my sunspot here, I'm even going to press in a little bit more just so you can really 
see I'm pressing it in there I'm going to do the same thing and press my contour on I'm not going to be swiping contour because I'm just going to swipe off all of that camouflaging or color correcting that I just did so coming up here on the top of my ear my cheekbone is right there so I'm going to take and I'm going to press my contour shade right along my cheekbone coming down at an angle towards my mouth but not getting into this area, kind of stopping. So this is a great reference point. If you stop on the outside of your eye and start, so start at the top of your ear and stop about here. And let's do the other side and I'll show you. So again, tapping in and pressing, just feeling for that cheekbone. And then just looking where your eye stops. And you know, the more you do this, the quicker it gets. It really, really does. And once you get to learn your face and what works best for your bone structure and your face, then you're gonna just cruise through this. It's so easy. And it's so easy having it just all in one palette right here, just dipping your brushes into the different shades. Finally, the last place I'm gonna contour and define is underneath my jaw. Um, we want to do that to define our jawline from our neck. Um, so I'm gonna dip that same brush right into the contour. And we're not gonna bring the contour along the side of our face here. We're actually going to bring it right under. So here's my jaw and just brush it right under there, okay? Contour on your jawline, you can actually pull down your neck to blend it a bit. So you can see that it just adds just a little bit of a shadow. It's a dip back in the brush and we'll come over here I'm going to start right underneath our ear and then bringing it down underneath our jawline and then pulling it down and back <clears throat> okay you can even add a little bit more if you need and just blend that down so that it just blends down into your neck but still gives you that little bit of a shadow right along the jawline there so that is two Two steps we've already done. We've camouflaged and we've contoured. All right, so using the same brush, I'm gonna now come in and I'm gonna brighten. And I'm gonna brighten in strategic areas on my face to pull forward and to give a little bit of brightness. Again, just by adding the contour on your face and no other makeup already, this part of my face is brighter, right? Because I've put a shadow around the framing of my face. So I'm gonna go in with my brightener shade and I'm gonna tap in and I'm gonna put some brightener right on the inside of my eye. Tap again. Okay, so I'm gonna brighten on the inside of the eye right here where it tends to get darker, a little bit of purple discoloration, darkness. I'm gonna tap in, I'm gonna brighten down just a little bit down the bridge of my nose. I'm gonna add a little bit of brightener up here above my brow. And I have not put on my main foundation shade yet because I'm showing you a little different way of applying this makeup. It's pretty much like a one layer application. I'm gonna tap in and I'm gonna put some brightener, not real close to my eye, but it's kind of right above my contour here, just a little bit. And right here, whoops, tap in. I always just try to use the least amount possible Okay, so you can see this brightening here, right here, okay? So we've contoured, camouflaged, brightened, and then the last thing we're gonna do now is bridge it all together. And we're gonna do that with the third highlight shade, and this one is like your main highlight or foundation shade. I'm gonna just pick up this brush, it's called the Blush and Bronzer, and I'm gonna tap it in to my main shade. Just pick up some color. And in between the areas, let me get some color on there, where I haven't brightened or, or added contour or even camouflage, I'm gonna bridge together with this shade. So just, again, very strategically tapping it. I'm gonna look in the mirror here while I'm doing this. So this, this way of applying this makeup is pretty much a one layer. I'm not layering this makeup anywhere. I'm trying to keep it to one layer, which is so great that you can do that with this makeup. So in areas where I haven't applied contour, 
camouflage or brightening. <laughs> I'm filling in with a little bit of my bridge shade. I'm bridging it all together before we blend it. This is the Camel Pop for brightening and bridge application. It's kind of fun, Camel Pop Bridge. And it's a really great way to just get the least amount of layers on your face. So I'm just strategically looking in the mirror, sorry about that, and so I can see where I need a little bit of my main shade in areas. Okay, I think I'm good, a little right here. Okay, now, now that we have um, all of our shades on, I'm gonna use this brush, which is the same brush, and I'm going to now start to, to pounce or stipple the makeup together. I'm gonna blend it together seamlessly, and I like to start when you do this way, start with your lightest shades first. And I'm just lightly, very lightly pouncing over the top of that brightener or pop shade. Now in the areas where it's in the inside of my eye, I'm gonna take my smaller detail brush because I can get in there and I'm gonna lightly feather that, just lightly blend that. Okay, and go back to my bigger brush, and now I'm going to start stippling or pouncing to blend together. So just kind of take that all around. I haven't added more makeup to this brush. Right now I'm using that same brush to blend. And I like to blend not by swiping because I have color that I don't want to move, camouflage color that I don't want to swipe all over and move. I want it to stay. So if you pounce over, the makeup's been warmed up on your skin, you can now get it to blend real nicely just by doing this very soft pouncing. Now in the area where I have my contour, now that I've worked to that area, I'm just gonna pounce, 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 and just continue to do that to blend and soften. Pull that up, my cheek. Let's do the other side here. Again, trying not to disturb or swipe the area where I have my color corrector camouflage shade. But I want to soften that just a bit. And then up here where the contour met my main shade, I want to make sure that there's no harsh lines, that that is still up there, still giving me a bit of a framing to my face, okay? But nothing looks unblended, I hope. Let me know. Let me know. <laughs> you can even take your perfector sponge at this point and press in the makeup lightly just to make sure that you don't have anything too heavy anywhere and just lightly, especially in your more textured areas like around your eyes, underneath your eyes, in between your forehead, around your mouth where you have more movement and texture. Use that perfector sponge to just really press in the makeup so that it's sits very smoothly on your skin and doesn't look textury. Okay, so that is the camouflage, contour, brightened very subtly, and then bridged it all together with my 3D foundation. Contour, camouflage, main shade, brightener. All right, let's have some fun with some color today. Um, I picked out two fun red toned colors. One's a glossy, one's a satin. Janet is, Janet is easy, right? It is. I hope, I hope so. I think it's really easy. So I already put some color in my eyebrows. Didn't do a great job. I already put some mascara on, but I'm going to put some lip and cheek on and I'm going to take some of this color here. It's ruby. It's a glossy. And I love glossy shades on my lips. Just because they're already glossy, it's like you don't have to put another, um, I like to have a little gloss, I don't have to put another gloss over the top, okay? So let me take my time and make sure I get this on straight. This is Ruby, right here, it's a glossy. I think it's a great, fun, glossy shade if you love reds or a rosy color, okay? You can also use that on your cheeks, but I thought I would show you Saffron. Okay, so Saffron is not a glossy. It's one of our satin shades, which I guess you could kind of more describe it as like a matte shade. It's much more pigmented. It's going to um, have a lot more color to it. So you want to be careful. We want to just use a little bit because we can always build with creams, right? We can always layer creams, okay? 
No, I don't, but you make it look good. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, well, let's, you know, watch some of these videos and um, hopefully the contour contouring you saw today was uh, kind of gave you some ideas. It shouldn't be, yeah, definitely. Um, we're gonna tap into this color here now, okay? So this is the um, saffron. And I'm gonna just tap right above my contour a couple little dots. Bonk, bonk, okay? Now, let's take our brush and I want you to just start lightly right in this area. I'm gonna start tapping and then slowly start to blend it um, towards your temple, above your contour, and then bring it, whatever's left on the brush, just kind of carry that up the side of your temple here so that you just kind of bring up a little bit of that color. Let's do this side. First, I'm just tapping to get that pigmented makeup really warmed up on my skin so that it'll start to move and then use that brush now to go back towards my temple and then just bring it up the side of your temple just a bit here, okay? So that's kind of fun. That's saffron. It's not, whoops, get the hair out of my face. Now, look and decide, is that enough? Is that what I like? I just wanted a little bit of kind of a rosy color. So if you like more, then you can always go back and you can add another dot or you can let take the brush and just lightly tap just a little bit, just a little, and there you go and tap over where if you want a bit more color, it's buildable, okay? Tap, tap, and it's buildable so we can just tap over. Sometimes I'll take the other side of this brush and I'll just Diffuse it just a bit if I need to. You can also take your perfector sponge and if you feel like you got some of your blush too high, press to remove a bit of that. And if you think you got too much on, you can press over just to lighten that a little. You can also layer the glossy. And so I put the ruby on my lips and I put the saffron on my cheeks, but if I wanted to add a little gloss, I could put just right down here on the end some of that ruby glossy color and blend that in. Now, the thing about uh, cream blushes and applying cream blush is when you start applying anything to your face and you start messing with your face, what happens? What are you doing? You're actually pulling forward blood uh, up to the skin. That's why, you know, in the olden days, <laughs> you would pin they would pinch their cheeks, pinch their cheeks to get the blood to come up to give a little rosy cheek. So after you put your makeup on, your blush, let it sit for a few minutes, kind of go do something, and then come back and check and see, you know, is that enough? Because, you know, you may find that you need to add a little bit more after it, your, your skin calms down from being touched and pounced and played with. Um, you can always add a bit more. Don't be afraid to add color to your face, especially to your lips and your cheeks. It's really important that we do that um, because we gain color in places that we don't want, like here, <laughs> um, and here, and here, and here, but we lose color, lose pigmentation and color in our lips and sometimes, you know, in the center of our face. And especially when we start to apply makeup elsewhere, the rest of our face tends to look you know, needs color, right? It needs some colors to bring that forward. So that is a couple lip and cheek colors, everything I need right here in my compact. Let's go to the second layer and show you. You can add bronzer, you can put illuminator, you can do eyeshadows, um, there's setting powder. I actually like to just use some setting spray when I'm all done. So even at this point, I can take some of our setting spray. Since the makeup sits on top of your skin, and I just will shake it up really well. I like to spray mine right on the end of a big fluffy brush. So I strategically can place, and you see how it's turning wet? It looks wet on my skin. So I can just strategically tap on my setting spray where I need it. You can also just take and shake this up really well. And you can just 
spray it all over and just mist your face with it. And then you're gonna let that dry. And so that'll help set the makeup for the day. Um, take your brush, if, take your little sponge, if you need to just to lightly tap that in. So setting, done. We'll go ahead and we can add some color to our eyes. We've got eyeshadows. So how many of you have uh, who are on here, and even if you're watching this later on the replay, let me know if you already use uh, Saint Foundation, Saint 3D Foundation, or let me know if you've never heard of it before and um, you're wondering what this makeup is. Feel, you know, make sure you, you make sure you comment and let, let me know. I'm just putting on some of our eyeshadow. Um, this is Mama, just dusting a bit all over my lid. And then this here is called Cafe. It's like a kind of a taupey brown. I think it has a little bit of a pink undertone. So I'm gonna put that right here, kind of in the outer crease, and then leave my eye open and pull that up onto my brow bone and just use this brush. This brush is great. This brush is called the eyeshadow brush. And this fluffy end here that feathers out, kind of um, poofs out at the end, really, when you move it and you use it, it really helps blend. You let, the, let this brush do what it's supposed to do and um, it'll work great for you. Tap off. So again, we're just using some of this color called Cafe right in the outer corner and the crease. And then leaving the eye open, I'm just gonna pull it up a bit up on my brow. And then let that brush do the job, let that blend. And a lot of times, um, I think what happens is we don't blend enough on our eyeshadows. And sometimes that will, you know, you're like, I just don't like the way my eyeshadow looks, then keep blending, okay? Don't be afraid to blend. Really just take that brush, especially get a good eyeshadow brush that does the job for you like this one. Um, it really does help blend, soften those lines, and look at that. That's just a really pretty eyeshadow. It was just two shades, Mama, and this shade called Cafe. And it's just a pretty combination. Um, great for just a daytime look. Almost a combination between a little bit of a pinky mauve and this, um, oh gosh, I don't know. It's just a really pretty taupey brown that has some pink undertones. So great everyday look. Um, so like I said, going back to my cheeks, now that they've calmed down a bit, it's not too much color on my cheeks at all. Um, you know, if you like more color, then you can just take what's left over on this brush and I'll just tap, tap it on a little bit. And that's it. How easy is that? Yes. Hi. <laughs> so we just did, if you catch this later on the replay, it'll be saved. We just did a one layer, pretty much makeup application. Okay, and you can do this if you have mature skin. You can do the one layer. It's really easy. It's usually using your 3D cream makeup, strategically placing them in certain areas of your face in one layer and then blending it together. So we did camouflage, contour, brighten, and then bridged it all together with a main shade, added some fun lip and cheek color, and touched on just a little bit of eyeshadow. I didn't even get into bronzer or illuminator um, because this is great. This is a, a great look, a great daytime look, and I would love for you to try it. I would love for you to get color matched. If you haven't been color matched yet, there's a link right here in the description in the caption of this video, and I'll save it. And you just click on that and send me a no makeup selfie and fill out the questions in the questionnaire so that I can color match you and help you get your own palette of this makeup and try something that you're really gonna love because you are. <laughs> All right, so make sure you message me if you need a color match and make sure you comment below that you are a Saint user, you wanna start using Saint, or comment and let me know that you don't know anything about it, okay? Because this is a great makeup that you may wanna try. All right, thanks and have a great day.